The Bellroy Folio Mini is a leather zip wallet from Bellroy that is super sleek and great for travel. My name is Peter Olawalia and I'm all about travel tech and adventure. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of all of my latest videos. With that out of the way, let's get into the Bellroy Folio Mini. So as I was saying, the Bellroy Folio Mini is a leather zip wallet from Bellroy. It has a nice clean look to it that's really simple but really premium as well. I really like that it has this Bellroy logo right here that's not the classic DBoss logo that Bellroy usually has but rather a small metal logo. I think it looks really premium and great. The stitching also looks really nice and I'm sure it will hold up over time just like all of Bellroy's other wallets. I've got it in this racing green color and I think it looks really cool and it makes it really easy to find this wallet when it's in your bag because the green color really pops. I also like this small leather accent on the pull tab of the zipper. Speaking of the zipper, it feels really great and glides effortlessly while still having enough resistance. Let's take a look at the inside of the wallet now. So as you can see, there are three main compartments in this wallet, one on the left, one on the right, and then there's this magnetized compartment in the middle. So the way this wallet is sort of designed is you can keep cards or cash on either side of the wallet. And then the middle part right here is designed to keep your change. Now this magnet design keeps your change from falling around all over inside your wallet. So let's take a look at how I've been using this wallet. Now, normally I've got cash on the left, cards on the right, and then my change in the middle. Let's start out with some cash. So I've got two Canadian $5 bills right here, and we're gonna slip those in right over here. And as you can see, they fit in perfectly fine, folded in half. If you have a larger currency, you're probably gonna wanna fold it into thirds and fit it in the other direction. But for Canadian currency, it fits in no problem at all. On the right side, I usually carry a couple of cards. So right here, I have got one, two, three, four different cards. Obviously these are not the cards that I carry, but I don't want to show you guys my credit cards. So we're gonna stick with these. So I've got four cards right here, and I'm gonna throw those in right on that right side. And in the middle, we're gonna throw in some change. Now, normally I don't really carry much change, unless I'm traveling, in which case I always have change. So even though I don't normally keep change in here, we're gonna throw in a couple of coins. Got a couple of coins right here. We're gonna toss those in right into the center. Now, you can see right here that sometimes the coins do stick to the magnets, um, which is fine. It's not a big deal. You just kind of push them back down all the way. So we got some coins in there. Let's close that up. So as you can see, everything fits into the wallet without any trouble. And it's really easy to get your stuff out once again. Just unzip, grab whatever card you need, and you're on your way. The change is equally as easy to grab. Just kind of pull on the sides of the wallet. It'll automatically open up that magnet sleeve, and then just grab whatever change you need, and you're on your way. Now, this is kind of the amount of stuff that I normally carry in this wallet, but it can actually hold a ton more. So we're gonna put it to the test and do a little bit of a stress test on this wallet. Let's start off with some cash. So we've got two bills in there right now and we're gonna add in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more bills. So we've got nine more bills, making a, a total of 11 bills. And we're gonna toss those in right beside the other ones that were there, fits in no problem. And we had four cards in here. Let's add in a couple of more. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more cards, bringing it to a total of 11 cards. We're gonna throw those in here as well. Fits in pretty easily. So as you can see, it's starting to get pretty full, but we're not done just yet. Let's see, what else have we got? I don't have any more change, but I've got an AirTag. Now, this would be really awesome to keep in your wallet because if you lose your wallet, you can simply find it using the Find My app on your iPhone. And another thing that would be awesome to carry in your wallet is a key. Because often when you're traveling, you're staying in Airbnbs and sometimes they have physical keys. So we're gonna toss that key in right there as well. The magnet still closes really easily and we're gonna zip that up. And as you can see, even with all of that stuff inside the wallet, it still closes no problem. It actually still looks pretty great as well. Like it's not like bursting at the seams or anything like that. Now, this is obviously kind of a crazy carry. I don't think most people are carrying this much, even when they're traveling. I mean, I've got a fair bit of cash while I'm traveling, but this is still quite a big carry. 
So even if you are the heaviest of users, when you're using your wallet, this wallet should hold up no problem at all. So overall, I would say this is a really nice wallet, especially as a travel wallet. For me personally, I really like my Belroy note sleeve that I normally use. Um, it's a regular old five-fold wallet, but this zipper wallet is really convenient when you're traveling because whenever I'm traveling, at least, I tend to have way more change, way more cash. Uh, sometimes, like I said, I do have those keys for Airbnbs. It's really nice to be able to stick them all inside of your wallet and it just keeps everything nice and secure. And then you can just take this and toss it into your backpack or into your sling or even into your pocket and it'll fit no problem at all. Anyways, guys, that's all I've got to say. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the Bellroy Folio Mini. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.